all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i just got some tips and tricks for you guys to get the best performance out of your rg ally x and also to keep it running spiffy for a longer time and also got an application to show you guys which is glp which simplify everything on your device make it easy to use and also give you a little bit of boost in performance and let you control your device in a different way and easier to use right let me get into it real quick and i show you what's going on all right guys so as you may know i will start all my videos the first thing i need you to do is to create a restore point just go to search type restore point click on this you create give it a name it create let it do its thing reason you want to do this is if you run into any type of issue you could just revert revert back to the system restore it and then you back your device will be back to how it was before you start doing these stuff right so anytime you're doing anything in your device you want to make sure you do this just in case if you do something wrong or you're trying to go back without going back and finicking with all those settings in the device and this is the easiest way to do it once you do that now we could get right into it guys first thing i want to show you is g helper this has been around for a while now for all the asus devices and they also now they updated for the asus rogue ally x so now once you open it to download it you just go to web browser the link should be in the comment section down below let's look out for it it's a github link you go to here once you get in here you scroll down you'll see releases on the right side when you click on that you look for the latest one that's up top might be a different version for you depending on one when you're watching this video and you just hit download the link should be in the comment section down below if not you just type and G helper into google.com and you will see the github page so once you do that now download it extract it to your device and everything you open it up it's like this and you get a simple screen right here on the side with this G helper you don't have to use armor crate but it's up to you this is more simplified it's not as pretty as armor crate but it's more proficient I would say right so when you open it you see silent balance and turbo you could go into each profile and you could change it so once you hit turbo and you hit fan curve fan and power on the right side right here open it up you can mess with all the fan curves and the, as you may know guys there's two fans in the rog ally x and then you can mess around with it and everything if you want to bring up the tdp on the turbo itself then you can do that and then you just gotta apply and then you apply to that tdp if you want to go back to the factory settings you just hit factory default and then it'll bring back everything to what it was before you start messing with it you also got fps limiter you can limit your fps to whatever you want you got amd overlays with your tdp track and everything this is what you used to do that then you got auto tdp auto tdp is good and then depending on what game you're playing it will adjust to that game to give you the best performance and this is not in armor crate and correct me if I'm wrong, I do not see that feature in Armor Crate. So this right here is a good feature to have so you could keep your system balanced and know what power profile to use without you messing with it. Then you know, now you got the screen refresh rate. You got to put it on auto, 60 or 120. Go down a little bit. You got default uh, visual mode. You could change it in here as well to whatever you want. If you want it warmer, warm, neutral, cold. You could do everything right here, guys. You do not have to go in Armor Crate. You go down a little bit, you see Ally Controller. You can set it from Auto, Gamepad, everything right here, guys. And it's more simplified. Mess with the RG brightness on the analog sticks as well. Mess with the colors and everything. Go to Controller. This way you can mess with the dead zones and the, the trigger and everything in here. So if you have any type of issue, you want to mess with the dead zones. Everything is right here, guys. So... As in armor crate, you have to go into one settings to get to that, to that. You don't have to do that. Everything is right here on the screen and you can do it exactly right here without going into every different type of settings to get to what you're looking for. So you can mess with your dead zone right here as well. If you go to extras, click on extras, wake, boot, sleep, shut down. You can also customize to launch G helper with a specific action or button on here. If you want to do that, just select what you want and then you can launch it like that if you go down a little bit you see amd display very bright that's a feature you should keep off i mean it's up to you if you want to have it on and off 
Next, if you go down, battery charge limit. So when you're charging your battery, some people like to put it at like 80, 85 around there so that it's not overcharging and kill the battery life. So this is good for battery life longevity. So the longer you have a device, over a period of time, your battery start degrading. So this helps with that if you wanna do that as well. This feature is in Armor Crate. You can do it and run a startup. So whenever you boot up your device, it'll run automatically. Or you could just leave it off and you can boot it up whenever you want, guys. You could also donate to the developers and you can also check for updates here as well. So any type of drivers, anything like that, you can update directly in G Helper, BIOS and everything guys. So that's what I'm saying. If you have this in your device, you don't really need to use Armor Crate ever, unless you're trying to open a game, but then you could also put the games in your desktop and do like that. All right, so now I've also got some more key tips that you guys should do for best performance on your Ally X and in no particular order, you could download GLP if you want first or you could do it after and then you could do these stuff. But the first thing you guys should do once you get your device, if it's a fresh all out the box, you wanna go to search and then you wanna go to settings. When you go to settings, you go to applications and you go to install apps. When you get to here guys, you this is a key tip guys you want to go in here and you want to make sure you uninstall anything that you're not using like any application that came with the device and you think you don't need it or you're not going to ever use it if you're just only playing game you want to come in here and you want to uninstall it and you want to make sure you're not uninstalling anything that's beneficial for your device or that could end your performance so like calculator right here i don't need that never really used calculator on this device camera that's good Copilot, never used it on this device. Uninstall each app you uninstall that t that gives you back a bit of a performance boost on your system because it it's not actually running those stuff in the background. Because sometimes some app when you boot up the device, it's running in the background and you're not really using it. So this helps, guys. So you make sure you go and install whatever you're not using. All right. So the next thing I need you guys to do is to disable core isolation. Just type in core isolation in the search bar. Go in here. All right, so core isolation is like a security feature, but Microsoft, even Microsoft said you could disable it if you're just mainly for gaming, but if you're using it for other stuff like going on the web a lot and going on different, different websites, then you might want to leave this on because this helps with protecting your device. But if you're just for gaming guys, you could turn this off because they, Microsoft do say this hinder gaming performance so you want to turn it off hit yes and it asks you to restart your system to make it effective right all right one more thing you guys should turn off is virtual machine let's close it off for a minute because it's going to ask you to restart on each one that you do so you could do them at the same time go to search and type turn windows features on and off which is right here when you click on that it's going to open up a window Want to scroll down to see virtual machine platform right here. Want to uncheck it, hit OK. Then now it's going to actually restart. So now with both of them disabled, get ready to restart, guys. All right, so next you want to make sure your system is up to date. Just got to go to over here, check for update. Make sure everything is up to date here, guys, because this helps make sure you have the latest update. I mean, sometimes they do release stuff that breaks certain stuff on your device, like certain features. So you might keep that in mind as well, but it's still great to have it, your system up to date so you're getting the best performance out of your system, right? Also, you wanna to go to Armor Crate as well. And here, you wanna to go to Update Center and you wanna make sure everything is up to date as well, like your drivers, BIOS and everything. Next thing is, uh, once you go to Performance, if you go to Eco Assist in here, so Extreme Standby Mode and Modern Standby Assistant, this, you could keep them on doesn't really help with performance, but it helps with battery life, right? So when your device is off and in standby mode, these two help you out to give you the best battery life on your system so that it's not running down when you're not using your device. When you scroll down a little bit, CPU boost, this is like a very controversy feature, but most people keep it off because it doesn't work with all games, only for some games, and this drains your battery if you have it on. And if you're not using it for that game you're using, then you're just losing a percentage of your battery for no reason. So best to just keep it off because it's not really noticeable in all games, only for specific games. So best to keep it off 
but as I said before, it's up to you. You could also add it into the quick menu fly out so that you could turn it off and on right here when you want. So on and off whenever you want, if you want to try it out, see if you're getting any difference in your performance and do it like that. But don't constantly keep it on because you will be losing battery life. Also, if you look up here, you'll see memory assigned to GPU. And here is the RAM, VRAM, they can change whenever you want from here. If you change it, I think it will ask you to restart your device, but it's up to you. Best to set it at eight gigs. That's out of the box. That's what it's at. And that's only for the GPU. So all your games that goes towards that and eight grig is a sweet spot. The other 16 goes towards the system and that helps the game and the whole system itself run as smooth as possible. Cause this shares up the RAM between the system and also GPU and other stuff on the device. So eight gigs is good right there at the sweet spot, but you can mess around with it and see which one best for you. Cause different games use different sizes VRAM, but eight gigs is a sweet spot that cover a variety of games. So leave it as that for now. And they should be getting the best performance out of your system. All right. So now let's go to type, go to search, type startup apps. When you get here, you want to disable all the apps that you don't need or you're not going to use when the device boot up because as soon as it boot up it's going to start an app up and then it's going to go right into your processing so if you're not using this game for anything else out on gaming just turn off microsoft edge you can turn on whenever you want OneDrive, turn it off uh teams you got mobile device off phone link anything that you have on that you know you're not using guys just turn it off i mean radiant software you can leave that on because you need it for your games and you can leave security on but you might have some more apps in here depending on how long you have, to have your device and what apps you have in your device so you want to turn those off so that they don't boot up whenever you boot up your device because it goes right into processing and then that might hinder your performance and turning those off will give you back a bit more performance because they're not processing in the background next you go to search again you go to task manager and this is where you see everything that's processing, right? And also your startup apps again. So when you go here and you over over each option, it will show you. See, it says processing right here, process right here. So this is everything that's processing right now on my system. So you can go through one by one, anything that you're not currently using, you could just right click and then end task. So that's what I said before, all those apps that you have on startup, disable it so it doesn't come in here and hog up all your memory and your CPU as soon as it boot up your device. If you're having any type of issue as well while playing a game and you think you need more power, come in here and start disabling whatever you think is hindering your performance or disable a good amount of them and then you should be good. If you go down to performance, this is where you see all your processing and everything that's going on in your system. Right here again, if you over over it, it says app history, shows you history of all your apps. And then startup apps again to show you everything that startup and everything I got enabled or disabled. So you could also disable from here as well. So Microsoft Teams is disabled as I showed you before. Mobile device enabled. I think I, I, I did I, I disabled that earlier. So I'm not sure why it's not it's enabled again. So you could disable that. Microsoft Edge is enabled. You could disable that again. OneDrive is disable this. And you can go through it and disable whatever you think, as I said before, is booting up and you're not using it on boot up. And yeah, guys, so that's basically it. Everything that I showed you that should give you back some performance in your system, give you a boost in your games and hold you down for a little bit and keep your system running as long as possible, guys, and also give you a better battery life as well. So, yeah, so uh, thanks for tuning in. And remember, I always say, health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys and also drop a comment down below let me know what you think and hit that like button and sub the channel for more awesome content guys i'm out